Russell Wilson, the Broncos, agreed to a new five-year contract reportedly worth up to $245 million. I believe half of that is guaranteed. Biggest takeaway from this transaction, and Coach, if you want to do the honors, kick us off. Zay, you can pick it up. I'll bring us on. All right. Well, the biggest takeaway that I got from this transaction is, you know, the Denver Broncos finally have stability at the quarterback position. This is something that they've been looking for ever since Peyton Manning retired back in 2016 with his ability to throw the ball down the field, put his guys in a good situation and help this team win games and, and, and you know, of course, head to the playoffs. I believe that, you know, they're good over there. You know, they've been through, too, you know, too many marriages, broken marriages at that, you know, with the Brock, you know, Brock Rosler, Paxton Lynch, Drew Luck, Joe Flacco, even Joe Flacco was part of that team. Teddy. Yeah, Teddy, Teddy B. So I'm just glad that now that, you know, there's stability at the quarterback position. So that's the biggest takeaway I got, stability. You know, I just have to say I, I agree with uh, what Coach said about stability. That's the, one of the biggest takeaways. The second one being is that Russ Wilson has a new home in Denver where he has the autonomy to do whatever he pleases on a team that has a receiving core where, on a coaching staff that's a little bit better on an elite defense, something similar to what he had in Seattle. So that's something that's going to be um, interesting to see here because he's a guy who does know how to keep the time of possession on his side when he has a really good defense on his, on his side. So when you got the Broncos defense playing as stout as they are, playing as physical as they are, and Russ Wilson is able to still make those plays, still move the ball down the field, but also take his time knowing his defense got his back no matter what, it takes a little bit more pressure off of him to make those um whole um those touchdown plays, those Hail Mary plays, those huge box office plays that we know for him to make. I think, you know, for me, one another another takeaway I personally believe is something we should all be looking at is how long does Amari Cooper want to stay in Cleveland? Because the Denver Broncos could be a situation where Amari Cooper is like, I like what Russell Wilson here. I like Cortland Sutton. I like Jerry Judy. I want to come here and pl um, play with these guys and we could probably make something dynamic over here in Denver. That's a very interesting take. I like the creativity in that, even though I don't think Amari Cooper is going nowhere because Deshaun Watson is coming back this year. Deshaun Watson would have to literally be like how he was in that first preseason game for Amari Cooper to say, I'm out. Now, you turn down Dak Prescott, clear, Dak Prescott is not a superstar, but you turn it down to Sean Watson, damn, who you turn down next, Tom Brady? Sheesh. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes? Oh, he suck. He's Jamarcus Russell. Yeah, anyway, uh, my biggest takeaway that I have from this deal is that that $245 million guarantee that Deshaun Watson got is the biggest outlier there is, that guarantee, and that's the clear thing here. The guaranteed. And I remember when that deal happened, I said to Zach on the show that there's going to be a lot of situations and negotiations now that Deshaun Watson got $245 million guaranteed. Sorry, Charles, I'm taking your line. But it's like that's always going to be a sticker point now. Right? That That's going to put a dent in a lot of guys' pockets because we never seen nothing like that before. But one thing I failed to realize because I did thought it was going to set a new mark. Claire is not reaching the mark. Kyler Murray got paid. I believe $160 million guaranteed. I could be yeah. wrong around that facility. Correct. No, correct. correct. You're right. 160. You know, and still short of that mark. Lamar Jackson wants to be paid, according to reports, same facility of Deshaun Watson, $245 million guarantee. He want to oversee that, it seemed like. That ain't happening, bro, because that's untouchable. The Browns were so desperate because they are a poverty franchise. And sometimes it's all about where you are. The Browns, who was the greatest quarterback of all time? Deshaun Watson. He didn't even play. <laughs> That's the greatest quarterback of all time. So, of course, they was in a position. Deshaun Watson said, bye-bye. I'm going to turn you down like that Instagram model on Instagram. I ain't going to leave you. I'm going to leave you on scene. He left the Browns on scene. It remains to be seen now what's going to happen is showing up. They sweeten the iced tea. $245 million guaranteed coming your way. What, I'm going to say no to that? I'm a fool? Nah, he went over there. So the Broncos is the Broncos. They won a Super Bowl with Peyton Manning. They're a smart franchise. John Elway is a smart dude, even though some of their draft picks were hit and miss over the years. They're not going to do that. The Browns was going to do that. Right? The Cardinals. They made a Super Bowl with Kurt Warner. And yeah, they're a young team. But even so, Kyler Murray still got more than what he was supposed to get. 
Because it's the Cardinals, a young franchise, young coach. So, you know, it's all about where you are, too. And Wilson Wilson got what he wanted. He got to go over there and take on that Tom Brady role of going somewhere, new scenery, meshing heads with the head coach and saying, I want to run my own team. I want to play with these players. I want to play with talent. I want to have personal input, personal say, intel, and I want to get paid and I get the win. So we'll see what happened with Russell Westbrook. I said Westbrook. <laughs> ah, Russell Wilson. But my biggest takeaway overall is that that $245 million guaranteed is an outlier. We ain't going to be seeing a lot unless Justin Herbert and Joe Burrows oh. is the guy to over exceed that. I believe it's up to those two quarterbacks to do it. I don't think Lamar Jackson is going to get there. It's up to those two quarterbacks to get there because they have another year. Hey, if Joe Burrow won the Super Bowl this year, we'd be a fool to think he may not get there because he already went to one. So we'll have to see. So, Lil, I have a quick question to ask you that I'm going to ask Zay another question after. So, Lil, so, you know, Wilson, he's locked in for the next seven years. Within those seven years, do you believe that Wilson could take this team to the Super Bowl? I knew your question, bro. <laughs> I, I just knew it. Like, I knew where you was going with it. I'm glad you went there, too. You know, call me mind reader. <laughs> anyway, to answer that question, yes, I do believe so. Straight to the point. I believe within those seven years, he will win a championship. And um, you got Jerry Judy. You got so much talent, even KJ Hemlaw. So I do think within those seven years, Wilson Wilson will win one ring. It won't be this year, though. I don't have the Broncos making the playoffs. I think this division is too stacked. And there's a lot of chemistry that needs to be developed with your teammates in the nick of time where you're getting everybody's best shot. Hey, week one is not an easy opponent. Don't get me wrong. I know Seattle's going to bottom out. Like, <laughs> I get it. They're going to probably have one of the worst records in the league. But just the scenery, Monday night in Seattle, one of the toughest places to play, rugged crowd, loud, the 12th man, your homecoming right off the gate, chemistry has to be developed. That's not an easy game if everybody's just checking the box. It's not. So, um, yeah, that's my answer, Coach. Awesome. Zay, my question for you is, you know, since, you know, Russ Wilson, he's in a new scenery, right? New scenery, new situation, new everything. What do, what, what do you feel that he would do differently that, that the previous Denver quarterbacks haven't done in a while? I um, mean, he brings a different dynamic to the quarterback position in Denver because he has an ability to freestyle on on the go. He, he's somebody who's seen his fair share of bad offensive lines, and he's able to run out the pocket and still throw the ball a tight spiral to his receivers. Uh, pinpoint accuracy, that's something that Denver um, Broncos have not had. They had a lot of check down guys. A lot of guys, when the pocket collapsed, they were doomed. They didn't know what to really do. Um, you know, they'd rather sit in a pocket and get sacked or they'll try to run out and get and get sacked for la well, loss of yardage or throw interceptions. I think that's one thing that Russell Wilson um, has shown us, his ability to improve as a quarterback throughout his duration in Seattle because at one point he was just a check down guy with Marshawn Lynch and those boys in Seattle. And then he developed into a quarterback who could um, make the show himself. He became a sideshow into the main attraction in Seattle and you kind of see him blossoming as year in and year out. And I think in Denver, he's only going to show everything that he's learned. He's learned under, um, why did I just draw a blank at Pete Carroll? I don't know why I just drew a, a blank at Pete Carroll. It's but happening you, to me tonight. <laughs> you, you, uh, you see, you're going to see everything he's learned under Pete Carroll. And now he's ready to blossom into the player that we know him to be, a, a MVP candidate kind of quarterback. And I think that's what he's going to show us in Denver. And I think that's what Denver has been missing ever since campaign Manning retired. Yeah. They've been like missing that. that consistent quarterback that just will make the right play and not only make the right play because Teddy can make the right play, but brings a level of explosiveness. Drew yes. Locke has flashes of that, but for every, wow, Drew Locke, that was a great ass throw. There's a, damn it, you fool. Right after that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't get consistency from him. Irony, real quick, just to follow up what you're saying, I think Drew Locke going to Seattle work benefits him so much because he's learning on the Pete Carroll. I think it, I don't know. I think Drew Locker is done, <laughs> to be honest with wow. you. You know, I, I think, uh, yeah, bro, you can't lose <laughs> Gino and, and uh, Eddie B and say that. Come on. Like, what are we doing here? It's done. Well, He's a up. He had COVID. I think I think he had COVID. I had COVID, there. too, and I was busting out shows <laughs> like I was in my prime, bro. You know what I'm saying? Come on. You feel me? It's, uh, it's all about the development, right? Your development 
I always say this about quarterbacks as we have one minute left. I'm going to finish this in one minute. Your, your develop cannot be shot. Sam Donald development was shot when he went to New York. And you know what's crazy? Nobody talks about this. He's in a worse situation than New York right now where he just <laughs> left. Everybody at the time was like, oh, he's going to the Panthers. Fresh start to come up. The proper development. He went to a worse situation. Daniel Jones, no offensive line. And you telling me you worry about fumbles? He got no offensive line. So how is he supposed to take, protect the ball with a quarterback that's inconsistent like that? So it's all about the development. And you lock developing a shot. But guess what? Russell Wilson is not. He's a dude. And he's going to bring another element to that team this year. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back after the break. Um, he brings a different dynamic to the quarterback position in Denver because he has an ability to freestyle on, on the go. He, he's somebody who's seen his fair share of bad offensive lines and he's able to run out the pocket and still throw the ball a tight spiral to his receivers. Oh, pinpoint accuracy. That's something that Denver um, Broncos have not had. I think that's one thing that Russell Wilson um, has shown us, his ability to improve as a quarterback throughout his duration in Seattle. And I think in Denver... He's only going to show everything that he's learned. He's learned under, um, why did I just draw a blank at Pete Carroll? I don't know why I just drew a, a blank at Pete Carroll. It's happening to me tonight. <laughs> you, you, uh, you see, you're going to see everything he's learned under Pete Carroll. And now he's ready to blossom into the player that we know him to be, a, a MVP candidate kind of quarterback. And I think that's what he's going to show us in Denver. And I think that's what Denver has been missing ever since campaign Manning retired. 